Here's to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19, but a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how crept out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little. I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I'd get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. But my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Woohoo! What would happen if I crash the car? Can't read my text messages and drive at the same time. All right, hold on. We're we're gonna pull over, and then we're gonna read our messages. All right, that really wasn't important. Not a very good driver. Another text message? Uh oh. Nearly halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Am I running out of gas? My car seems to be slowing down a little. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't the best at driving, I guess. I just saw some dude walk through here. Man, I can't I can't go that way though. Well that's creepy. Can I open my trunk? Oh cool. Can I ride this? Uh can't ride the skateboard. That's all right. I'll throw it back in there. Hopefully that doesn't fall out. All right, back on the road. Hey, there's a truck. Oh, I was like super close to where I was supposed to go. <laughs> all right. How's your night? He just looked at me. Okay, weirdo. I guess I'm the weirdo. Oh, right, you just go up to random people and start talking to them in the store. Hey, man. Can I get 10 on pump 2? You're heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Careful. What do you mean? For about a century not now, many people have been going missing down there. The people who went looking for them, well, they never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Okay. Well, that's... Can you pee in this game, too? <laughs> Please stop. What if I wanted to buy that? Alright, uh, can I buy this? <laughs> what are you doing? All right, I'll just go get the gas and uh And one more thing if you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride do not stop Just step on the gas as hard as you can Oh, uh, why <laughs> some people they say that she died in a car accident there on prom night Some say that she seeks vengeance after the murder was there after she was murdered there Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never pick up a hitchhiker. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. All right. Don't pick up hitchhikers. Is that a... Oh, that's just somebody. Three new messages. Dog food. 
I need to buy this, dude. Alright. Got the dog food. Yeah, I haven't lost my skateboard. Alright. Pump two. Right here. All right, achievement unlocked. You up. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Hopefully this is copyright free music. Oh. <laughs> Guess you should always look <laughs> which way you're going before you pull out onto the road. I died, I guess. All right, attempt number two. This time we pay attention to what we're doing. All right, we're back to where we were. Got the dog food, got the gas. Off on the road. But this time, we're gonna stop and let the cars go by. <laughs> Whoops. Good thing there wasn't another one or else I would have just got hit. Being on the road, you do realize something. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh man. What happened to my lights? This dude's driving awfully slow. Now my lights went out. I probably look like some crazy person to this guy. Pull up right up on him and uh, <laughs> turn my lights off. Yeah, I'd speed away too, man. Maybe I'm the monster. Oh, coming up on a bridge, I think. Hey, it's just the creepy bridge that guy was talking about. Doesn't seem very creepy to me. Seems like a normal bridge. Oh, my radio's going out. It's very loud, too. Very, very, very loud. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, I should slow it down a bit, huh? I wish I could turn the game sounds down a little. It's getting kind of loud. There's not an option though. Hey, there's a car there. Not stopping for you, man. Hey, the bunny. Very weird thing about that night. Oh. Saw two big logs blocking the road. Do I do I wanna get out? Those are some very reflective logs. I don't think I can move these. Come on. There we go. What What are you doing? Get out. Oh, I can push them. I can literally push them. What are you? Stop. Go back. Be a lot easier if these things didn't have a mind of their own. <laughs> what are you doing? Go back. Please. And you... I don't know what is up with you, but can you pick a direction, please? All right. I don't know why that was so complicated, but what? I just moved this guy. Please stay there. Don't move. All right. Back in the car. Oh crap. Car wouldn't start. Man, that radio is just so loud. I'm gonna get away from my car. It is very loud. Throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But that at that moment I had no choice. 
I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I don't see anybody coming. 10.23 p.m. I saw a car nearing. <clears throat> what the hell, man? Pure evil, uh, yeah. What a jerk. Should have pushed these logs back in front of his car. 20 minutes later. I'm still standing here. My car radio is still going. Hey, here comes another guy. Is he gonna stop? Hey, he's stopping. Hey, you're the girl from the gas station. I think anyone would stop. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Think I can get a ride? Where are you heading? Oh, near stop. Hop in. Thanks. Just throw it in the back. Won't be here too long. Well, you didn't have to park so far away. All right. Let's go, weirdo, who went and talked to me in the gas station. Still won't talk to me. Oh, well, you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? Uh, it's driving home. That piece of crap broke down. What? My name's Jason. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Jason. Thanks for the ride. What do you think about the... Uh, what do you think about what he told you at the gas station? Uh, he's a funny guy. <laughs> Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Uh, so is it true? What, the monster? Uh, let's see. Never seen the monster for myself, but... There are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Alright. 12.08. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me off at a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Alright, anyway. Let's go talk to this weirdo. Gal need a room to shack up for for the night? Uh, how much? 40 bucks. Room number nine, right over there. Uh, 90 bucks. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Alright. One last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. Might not take very nicely to it. Alright. See you later. Uh, room number nine. Can I just leave my stuff here? Aiden. Nice and warm inside. Well, where am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> if there's a smell of... A musky smell you get from old houses. Whoa! What the fuck? The fuck are you doing in my bathroom, dude? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm Tommy, room service. Jesus, what are you doing in my bathroom? Cleaning stuff? God, that scared me. You scared the crap out of me, Tommy. You just. Alright, I, I think I needed to go get my stuff. I think that's what he said. You're just gonna stand in my A. Hey. Thanks for the, uh, mattress there, Tommy. Had a word with Joe about the situation, uh, what's wrong with these people? Or what is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't you worry, it's safe here. I, I'll go get your car, and, uh, also the room's phone's not working. Uh, if you need anything, just ask the front desk. Uh, we've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Uh, but you have a good night. Thanks, weirdo. 
All right, I got all my stuff. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. Don't want to watch the TV. Apparently, I don't need that stuff. Guess I just sleep then, huh? How's that? Dude, peeking in my room. Oh, foresight, but there's something very off about this place. That place. There's some weirdo looking in my room. The feeling tiredness was overwhelming by anxiety. Didn't want to sleep. Like coffee could help me stay up. Alright, I guess I go find some coffee. Is that a coffee machine? Oh, it is a coffee machine. Alright. Alright, we found the coffee. Consume. What is happening? Do I like have something slipped into my coffee? <laughs> Everything's reversed. <laughs> Up is down, left is right. Tripping balls here, Dad. I can't answer the phone. To find my way back to my room. Found it. Ah. Uh, just gotta reach for the door. Ah. Uh, go to bed. I sleep it off. I made it. I didn't die. <laughs> what is happening? 3.18 a.m. Apparently the coffee didn't work. I was sedated. Yeah, they did slip something in my coffee. What the hell? Here's somebody walking around. Dude's not in my bathroom again, is he? Hiding in my closet. The fuck? It's that dude who drove me here, isn't it? I don't want to answer the door. Can I just wait till he goes away? Or is he just gonna come in? Jesus! What the hell is the dude doing in my closet? <laughs> I guess that was the end. One of the endings. Why was there a dude in my closet though? Alright, it auto-saved at the hotel so we're here now uh, I think I'm not gonna drink the coffee this time <laughs> and see what's up with the door the dude at the door um how much for a room 40 bucks all right yeah I hear somebody peeing again and some creepy dude stared in my window again and he runs off over there Let's see if we can catch him real quick. Hey! Dude! I don't want any coffee. I don't know why this weirdo's looking in my room. Why can't I look in his room? I ain't getting no coffee. I I'll go get a, a 
a drink. A sealed drink. Yeah, this has caffeine in it too. I don't need no coffee. Drugged coffee. Consume. I'm just gonna go chill in my room. I don't want any coffee. Just gonna shut the door. Like, forcing me to get coffee. I don't want coffee. I just wanna hide. I think I have to get the coffee though. And then I have to stumble back to my room. Oh, it's, it's this guy. This is the guy that comes over. Not the guy driving. Alright. I can't find anything else to do. So I'm gonna drink... Maybe we'll go with a cappuccino this time. Drink the drugged coffee even though we know it's drugged. I guess. Hey, that one wasn't drugged. Oh, yeah, it was. Dang it. <laughs> I should have ran for my room. Alright, uh... Where am I going? Maybe I shut the door. Maybe if I shut the door, somebody can't... Somebody can't sneak in my room? I don't know. Alright, I think I'm gonna answer the door this time. I don't know if I'm gonna answer it, but I'm gonna at least click on it and see if, like... See if something happens. Because not clicking on it obviously didn't work last time. Alright, who is it? Joe from the front desk, open the door. I don't know if I want to open the door, Joe. Alright. I'm gonna open the door. I know I shouldn't open the door, but I'm gonna open the door. What's the matter? <laughs> Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down. Why are your eyes all red? Because you're, you're drugged up coffee machine, man. <laughs> it's, it's right over there. Follow me. I, I hate my job. Where is it? It's right. It was right over here. I swear to God, dude, it was right here. <laughs> and I say, go back to your room. Check the table by the TV. There should be some medication in your room. It should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Uh, probably not, dude. <laughs> I'm not just gonna take your random medication. All right, I guess. All right, I took took your drugs. I guess. Guess I go back to sleep now. What the f- Somebody's whispering to me. Fuck. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, it doesn't feel safe going out. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. I'm not opening the door for you, weirdo. You're just whispering something. I know you're in there. Um... 
Please tell me there's not a thing in here again. I just want to hide this time. Is he going to break in? I think he's going to break in. I'm trying to keep my voice down. Dude, I'm not answering the door. How long is he going to sit out there? All right, this dude's not going away. I think I need to say something else to him. Please leave. Just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Why would I care if you're a cop? <laughs> Just go away. What the fuck? All right, screw you, dude. Okay, now, now he's trying to break in. He caught me. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm sure there's more endings, but uh, that's all I got time for today. <laughs> all right. See ya.